director of the Centre for Policy Studies. And um, I'm really pleased to, to welcome you today. Um, this is the first one of these we've done. Um, and uh, barring any technical difficulties, which we really hope there won't be, it, it's really very simple. Everything, uh, we, we'll be having a host of sessions throughout the day. They will all be streamed to this link on, on YouTube. So all you have to do is sit there all day and, and refresh the page. Um, and every single um, session will, will have a Q&A element. Um, you can uh, direct uh, questions to the CPS at CPS Think Tank on Twitter. You can put questions on the YouTube page. Our team will uh, will um, gather them up and then uh, relay them to the to the, the host and the chair. And um, I'm uh, delighted uh, that we're doing this today. Uh, appropriately, the the Office of Financial Statistics has just announced that uh, GDP uh, went up by 6.6 percent in July, which sounds extremely impressive until you realise that this is only half of the uh, we're still back only halfway back to where we were before coronavirus started. So the entire theme of uh, today is how we get all the way back and and then beyond. How we uh, make this a V-shaped recovery. How we deliver and spread growth across the country in the in the most effective way um, at what is the, uh, you know, the most extraordinary uh, economic um, and public health um, situation that we've been in for quite some time. And I'm delighted now to introduce Michael Spencer, the chairman of the CPS, to, to explain why, why today matters. And Michael will then uh, be taking his place as one of the panelists on our first session. Thank um, Robert, thank you very much for that introduction. Welcome all of you to this, uh, this um, conference, this virtual conference. Um, by the CPS. The, the, the title going for growth, I think, is extraordinarily timely. Um, we are, as you'll know, emerging from uh, the terrible COVID crisis, which has wreaked havoc globally on pretty much every economy in the world. Simultaneously, of, of course, in the UK, we are going, um, uh, going to the final phases of Brexit and the terms of our departure from the EU. Um, we obviously don't know exactly what they are, and irrespective of your opinions over the complex Brexit issue, and indeed irrespective of the outcome of those negotiations, there is no doubt that there will be a short-term disruption to uh, economic activity over the transitional period in Brexit. So the whole debate about growing for growth could not be more important because it is clear that the finances of the UK have suffered, unsurprisingly, considerably um, as a result of COVID. How are we going to grow out of this, this recession? Are we going to turn this into a proper V-shaped recovery or is it going to be a, a softer U-shaped recovery? What should the government be doing um, right now um, to ensure that the economy prospers rapidly and securely? There's a, important debates, of course, that have been mentioned in the press um, about what the new tax policies could be and should be. Um, I've got some strong opinions about those myself, but I'll come to that in the next panel. But I think this is a, a, a moment where we've got some very good speakers today, and you, the audience as well, I hope will contribute to really put some energy and a dynamism into the dialogue about uh, what this country should be doing at this incredibly important time. Brexit, COVID, what is the UK looking like going forward? Where are we going? What is our ideology? What kind of nation are we going to be? How are we going to turn this into one of the great, most prosperous nations in the world, leading in innovation and uh, employment, and, and of course, spreading the wealth throughout our community, um, geographically and, and in terms of age groups and in terms of um, every, every sector of society. It's an important issue. It is the important issue of the moment. So I'm very proud to be a part of it. I'm going to hand it back to Robert now because I know he wants to say a thank you to many of our sponsors. Indeed. Without whom this would not have been possible. Indeed, yes. I um, wanted to thank in advance uh, um, both our speakers and, and our sponsors, um, uh, the City of London, Lloyds Bank, and um, Joseph Ramtree Foundation, each of which have, have sponsored one of the panels. Um, uh, while Michael sort of change, changes into his uh, his outfit for the, and, and goes, joins the green room for the next um, for the next session, I'll just outline very quickly what we've got coming up for you uh, today. So um, first up is um, is a session sponsored by the City of London on back to business. What role does business have in getting the country back on track? Um, so Paul, we have Paul Scully, the Minister for Small Business. Uh, Michael, of course, is one of the country's most successful entrepreneurs. Uh, Catherine McGuinness, who is uh, Chair of the Policy and Resources Committee at the City of London. Andrew Griffiths, MP, who is currently uh, MP for uh, 
uh, one of the new cohort of Tory MPs, but before that was the Prime Minister's Chief Business Advisor, and Nick King, the CPS's Head of Business, who worked as a Special Advisor uh, in, 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 um, sorry, in, in government for a variety of, of departments. Um, following that, we will have Fraser Osborne in conversation with George Osborne, then a panel on uh, the role of housing in the recovery, uh, sponsored by, by Lloyds. This is an issue which is absolutely uh, dear to our hearts at the CPS, and we've done an awful lot on um, after that, I'll be talking to Sajid Javid. Um, then we will have a public panel on regulation reform. Uh, there, then um, various uh, of the country's leading think tank heads will be joining me to outline their visions of growth. Obviously, the CPS has its views, but we want to make sure we have the debate as widely as possible. And then finally,